The Guardian games are live in D2 right now, and there's a good chance you might not be loot farming as efficiently as you think. I'm going to show you the hands down quickest way I've found to farm the Guardian games for more medals, which means more opportunities for loot. OK, lately there's been a lot of talk about a new best farming method for power leveling crafted weapons via the breakneck mission in the Lightfall campaign. I made a video on it on Monday and found out, yeah, it's pretty good. I actually compared it directly with Shirochi and found out that Shirochi is maybe a tad more efficient, but breakneck is definitely cheaper. Cheaper for long term farming because the rally flag you drop at the beginning of the breakneck mission is free, whereas in Shirochi you have to spend a raid banner each and every time if you're trying to be optimal. But that doesn't matter anyway, because if you have a fire team and you want to be farming at max efficiency for Guardian game loot, you shouldn't be doing breakneck or Shirochi. You should be doing Shattered Throne. I'll definitely give you this. Getting the checkpoint for Shattered Throne is 100% more annoying than getting a breakneck checkpoint, but when you have a Shattered Throne checkpoint, point, it's way more worth it. Here's why. If you have a Platinum Cards Raid card, which you can get from Grandma Levante at the tower, you can complete this card and get a Platinum Medallion in just two boss completions of Shattered Throne. Yeah, I know it says it's a raid card, but it counts for dungeons too. Bungie just out here being sneaky. So do the old trick we've become so familiar with over the years. Get a checkpoint on one character and have your fire team join you. Load up the Shattered Throne boss encounter, then hop over to a different character and rejoin your friends. As long as you keep doing that forever, character A holds the checkpoint and character B farms the checkpoint. Never finish the boss encounter with character A and that way you never lose the checkpoint. If we're comparing the breakneck lightfall mission farm, which you can do by getting a platinum cards Neptune card from Grandma Levante, they're close, but IMO Shattered Throne is better. The Neptune platinum card requires around four completions of the breakneck checkpoint, whereas Shattered Throne only requires two. Even though the card says three encounters, yeah, you'll get platinum in two from finishing Shattered Throne. On top of that, the Breakneck Mission Farm doesn't have you complete the activity. You just wipe every time you get to the Wyvern. Compare that to beating the boss in Shattered Throne. Every time you do, you get a silver medal too. Meaning, not only is the Shattered Throne farm easier if you have a group, but you get more medals. Three in total, one platinum and two silver per card completion, compared to Breakneck Mission Farming, which is just one medal per card completion. Extra tip if you want to make the Shattered Throne farm really easy. For whatever reason, the Shattered Throne boss is coded in-game as a vehicle, meaning it takes omega damage from the Wardcliffe Coil rocket launcher. Even if you have a full fire team of three people, the boss will absolutely get demolished in only two hits from a Wardcliffe Coil. So fire up the checkpoint, kill the three big knights, with each of you and your homies picking one knight each of you to kill. Pick up their buffs off the ground, fire two Wardcliffe shots at the boss, GG, no re. Load up the checkpoint on character A, beat it again, and bam, two silver medals and one platinum, done. Important question. Will you lose brain cells doing this farm? Eh, probably, yeah, but it's lightning quick, and if you're hellbent on getting a 5 out of 5 god roll on either the new and improved title or the Baja Blast scout rifle, it is definitely your best bet. Unfortunately, if you're a solo player, yeah, you don't have as much flexibility. For you, unfortunately, yeah, gotta recommend either Shirochi or the Breakneck Mission. That would be your best bet. It's all good, though. Remember that Lightfall campaign missions are easier if you're a solo player, even on the legendary difficulty you'll get through it no problem. Remember to always double check your card in the quest tab and use whatever weapon they recommend in order to get more progress. Most of the time I've seen either Void or Strand or Solar or Strand, so if you have a good Strand build, you're in business. Check out my video from the other day that goes over why the new title may actually be worth your time in Guardian Games this year. Link to that down in the video description. Give today's video a like if it helps you out and share with a fire team member looking for a god tier farm. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.